Hello, my name is David Ravandi. I'm the founder and CEO of 123 Organic Tequila. I'm very excited today to conduct a tasting of our full portfolio of organic tequilas with you. Uh, we specialize in organic farming and distillation. Uh, this particular brand has been very close to my heart. And after 30 years of being in the business of making tequila, I finally was able to achieve my dream. Uh, it's a project that is purely organic and sustainable and very terroir based. Uh, we plant the agave at the altitude of 4,200 feet in the mountains of Amatitan, which is about an hour, 15 minutes north of Guadalajara, the second largest city in Mexico. Uh, we let these plants age for 10 years because I like to use a 10 year old agave. Life span of an agave plant is about 12 years. So you can imagine you wait for 10 years for one plant to mature. And once we cut it, we have to replant again from the beginning. After the plant is matured, uh, we cut the plant, the heart of the plant, which is known as the piña or the pineapple. And these things could vary anywhere from um, 50 to 100 kilos. And then we slowly roast this in old fashioned stone oven for a period of 48 hours, uh, 24 hours of cooking and 24 hours of cooling down. After this process is done, we take the cooked pinias and take them to this mill that will distract the pulp from the juice. The pulp turns into an organic compost and goes back into a field, and then juice goes into these open fermentation tanks that we start the fermentation process. The fermentation process takes anywhere from 72 to 96 hours, and after that we go through two stages of distillation and then after the second stage of distillation, the Blanco arrives at 110 proof, which we use the water sources at the distillery, the wells that we have, and water it down to 80 proof, and then it's bottled. So the one, two, three organic tequila pronounced uno, dos, tres, consists of four different styles of tequila. In Mexico, by the regulations and laws of CRT, Consejo Regulador del Tequila, which is the Mexican government agency that oversees the production of the tequila, the category consists of four major lines. First in line is the Blanco, which I will be tasting that for you, and then we go down the line. The Blanco or the Plata or the Silver is a tequila that does not see any wood barrel, and it could be distilled and rest in a tank for up to two months. In our case, it's distilled and bottled. So the first in line is our Blanco. I'm a huge fan of uh, Blanco tequilas because it is the foundation of the portfolio and uh, it is known as the resume of the distiller. So it's really an important step in the art of tequila making. Um, this particular Blanco has a beautiful fresh agave on the nose. It's lovely nose. I get a Nice, fresh lime, meat palette, a little bit of minerals picking up. My favorite part of this Blanco is as soon as you swallow it, the back end of it. It is smooth as silk and keeps up lingering on in the back end of your tongue and inviting you to the second sip. Really a beautiful Blanco. Second in line is our Reposado. So as I mentioned, there's four major categories in the tequila production. Reposado means rested. By Mexican tequila production laws, any tequila that sits in a wood barrel anywhere from two months up to before a year, it qualifies for the category of Reposado. Uh, our Reposado is aged for six months, and I use a large barrel that is medium light toast, American white oak barrel. Um, Reposado is the vision of the distiller as much as Blanco is the foundation and the resume of the distiller. Uh, because you have this frame of time to pull the juice out of the barrel anywhere from you know two months up to before a year. I believe that six months is the perfect time for the philosophy of the one, two, three organic tequila portfolio. I think it's the perfect marriage of the agave and the oak. The agave is present. The oak has a very nice complementary undertone. It's the most versatile in our portfolio. You get a hint of vanilla on the nose. 
beautiful salted caramel, uh, Mexican flan meat palette, and a really nice spicy finish. Definitely the most complex in the portfolio. Next in line is our Añejo. Añejo means aged. Again, by Mexican tequila laws, any tequila that crosses one year qualifies for Añejo. And uh, this particular Añejo is aged for 18 months. I use half a size barrel than the one we use for Reposado, and we do double the toast. So it's medium toast barrel. So after 18 months sitting in the barrel and interaction between the juice and the wood, you get a really nice, intense brown spirit that's got a really good weight on the palate. Tons of dark chocolate and caramel on the nose. Beautiful weight on the palate. And again, my favorite part of the Añejo is the back end of it. It's just clean, fresh, and leaves a really nice hint of agave with a tint of oak at the back end of the flavor profile. Very clean, very nice. So next in line is our Diablito, the little devil. The reason we call this Diablito because the devil is in the details. And of course, and I believe that after consuming this, the little devil will come out of you. It's a very limited production. Uh, it was originally produced for my own personal consumption. In the year 2014, we decided to commercially release that. The agave is a single estate grown at the altitude of 6,000 feet. We still use 10-year-old agave and uh, it is aged in French white oak barrel limousine, medium toast for a period of 40 months. The first year we released only a thousand bottles. Now we're releasing about 2,500 bottles a year and it's allocated per, per market. Very well structured extra añejo, textbook extra añejo, I would say. Tons of stone fruit on the nose, Vanilla and caramel are seriously present. Delicious, I mean, the only complaint we get about this Diablito is it goes down really fast. Really delicious. Salute, enjoy. Talking about some of my favorite cocktails, uh, naturally Blanco makes a great margarita. It's also wonderful in Negronis, which we do signature one to three Negronis and call in Rositas. Uh, Reposado is one of my favorite cocktail, which is called the Paloma. It's very well balanced, made with our one to three organic tequila Reposado dos. Uh, Añejo, uh, one of my favorite cocktails with Añejo, in which we call it Mexico City. And it is just wonderful, uh, really well balanced and really picks you up. I'm proud to say that we are the, one of the only, if not the only spirit in the world that is not only certified organic, we are fully sustainable. Everything used in our packaging is 100% recycled glass. Bottles are individually hand blown. We use 100% recycled paper. We use soy ink to print the labels. And of course, the tequila itself, uh, USDA and as well uh, European Union organic certification, which is a very important thing to have. I hope you enjoy tasting our tequilas. Uh, uh, you can visit uh, 123spirits.com to get more information on our full line of organic agave spirits. Uh, we are uh, also very active in social media, so you can uh, visit our Instagram handles, 123organictequila, which will give you more insight into the brand and behind the scenes. Thank you and salute.